Hey Tubers, Waz here. I'm going to show you what you can do with your old laptops. So scrounge around, you can find one that the screen being in great condition or good condition and still works. So ask around to your friends and family. Make sure they're not using it as a, I don't know, mouse trap or target practice. What you're going to need is a glue gun with some glue sticks, a pair of scissors, two screwdrivers, flathead and Phillips, a case to put it all in, and some window weather stripping. Now here I have a laptop, one that I'm not using anymore. The screen is in good condition. No cracks, no scratches, just has a lot of fingerprints on it. Right here you have some rubber bushings that are covering the screws that hold in the screen. Use the flathead screwdriver to pry those out and then use the Phillips to unscrew those screws. Once you get the screen out, there'll be some labels on the back side of the screen. You'll have some serial numbers and some part numbers on the back. You'll need to find the part number and type it in your search engine on your computer or cell phone and that part should come up on your screen. It should be called a monitor controller. Some screens are going to be different. So down here, you'll have a port to slide in the ribbon so you'll get a picture on your screen. And up here is actual power cable to power the light that's inside. Here's what the finished product looks like. Now you'll insert the ribbon cable from the control monitor into the back of the screen and if you have the power cable also that sticks out. Also, plug that in. Now you're gonna take the weather stripping and cut it into strips. You're gonna add glue to the back of the monitor and the monitor control and glue everything into place. You'll need a plug to power everything. Sometimes they come with it, sometimes they don't. On the monitor control, you'll have some features, some extra buttons. Some don't have these features, but others do. You have an on-off switch, you have color control, you have all kinds of really cool stuff. Now you have a series of ports in the front here. You have an HDMI, and in my case, I have a DVI and a VGA. You also have a port for speakers and headphones. So now you'll be able to hook it up to pretty much anything, whether it's a game system or a computer or anything else. It's endless possibilities. Well, if you like this, please hit the like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button for more notifications. That'll be all, and you guys take care.